We're traveling to a destination which possesses an epic beauty that has no rival in the world. Medieval cities amongst magnificent mountains with tender chalet villages that seemingly live in the sky. And while the physical beauty deserves a lot of praise, it shouldn't take all the credit. If happy cows make happy cheese, then a marvelous environment makes even more radiant people. I'm in the beautiful Bern region of Switzerland, where there's always more cowbell. I'm Samantha Brown, and I've traveled all over this world. And I'm always looking to find the destinations, the experiences, and most importantly, the people who make us feel like we're really a part of a place. That's why I have a love of travel and why these are my places to love. Switzerland is located smack in the middle of Europe. And because it's a relatively small country, you can explore completely distinct experiences within an hour of each other. I'll be exploring the west central part of the country known as the Bern region. And my first stop is the renowned medieval village of Gestadt. Gestadt is infamous, I would say, rightly so. It has been a holiday destination for Hollywood royalty and actual royalty for well over a hundred years. And if you look at some of the shops uh, passing by, you can see that this is not your typical quaint alpine village. And you would also think that, well, maybe money is really important here, but it's not the most important thing. In fact, many would argue that milk is. There's strong evidence to support that argument here in this little building buried on the side of a hill outside Gestadt. And it's bigger on the inside. Oh, oh my gosh, this is incredible. What a view. Hello, you must be Renee. Hello, nice Hello. to meet you. Nice to meet nice you to meet too. You. Wow, when they said I was going to a cheese cave, I didn't realize I was going to a cheese cave. <laughs> I am Rene Reiser. I am a cheesemaker in Gstaad. How many cheeses are here? We have uh, 3,000 beers of this cheese. I am the manager from the Dairy of Gstaad. The Dairy of Gstaad is a cooperative for 74 farmers. They bring their milk every day to our dairy and there we produce our own cheese, the Gstaad Mountain Cheese. So what are the cheeses doing right now? Are they being stored or are they, they are aging? They are stored, but at the same time they are aging. Look, I show you um, on every wheel you can find the production date, 2nd August. 2015. And how long do we want that cheese to age for? Between two and three years. So okay. we have two okay. years now, we start to sell. We start to sell, sell okay. And then uh, we need about one year to sell all this cheese, and then we have then from the next year. You sell 3,000 wheels of cheese in a year? Yes. That's impressive. Yes, yeah. So the Alpine cheese method is pretty amazing. Hundreds, even thousands mm -hmm. of cows move from the valley up to where we are mm -hmm. now. Yes. And this is where they feed on the amazing grass that's here. <laughs> And the herbs that come the, from the grass, Yes, right? yes, yes. Mm -hmm. The different herbs from a different altitude just give the, the different flavors on the cheese. It's not like wine, you know, we have the, the, the raw material is always the same, it's milk. By wine, is, uh, we have different grades, we have only the same milk. But uh, the composition of the milk is not the same and they feed on the different uh, herbs. Can, can I pick one of up? Course, I just want to feel like how heavy one is. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay, wow. That is, that's, that's a lot heavier than I thought. It's about 10 kilos, must be uh, 20, 25 Over, pounds. Oh yeah, 25 oh, pounds. 25 pounds, yes. Oh my gosh, that's a tabletop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So now we get to taste. Yes, uh, we prepared something for you. Mm. Oh, that is phenomenal. Mm. 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 How deep underground are we? 20 meters. 60 feet. 60 Over feet 60 above. Feet? Yeah, 60 feet. Wow. What I love about this is that I know that if if Armageddon happens, Renee, the end of the world is here, yeah. I know that all I need to do is get to the cheese cave in Gestadt and I'll be okay. Right, this is Fort Knox of cheese. <laughs> here you are safe yeah. for eternity. Uh, uh. All right, so I have heard so much about this. Yes. So this is the fondue backpack. This is cheese fondue. Several dairies offer the fondue backpack, and you can pick them up in downtown Gestadt. And they contain everything you need for a full fondue experience, especially the local cheese. Okay, you do have to bring your own wine. Prost. 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 
it's unbelievable the beauty that this yeah. this country holds. And it's just, it's like a storybook, right? The chalets and, and everything just seems so protected. And, and you think that these Alpine villages are, are unreal in a sense. And yet you, you come here and they're very real. This is how people live. Perfect spot for fun to. Perfect, perfect. Do you know in the United States, we have a, a beautiful custom. Uh, every couple upon marriage is given a fondue set. Oh yeah? Yes. Every couple oh. in America has a fondue set. We don't open it. We put it in the cellar or the attic for 30 years. And then we bring it out at a yard sale and we sell it for $3. Oh, yeah. Every American couple oh, yeah? I didn't, I didn't goes know. through that stage of life. Yeah. It's a passage. So I would say it's ready to, uh, to taste. That's beautiful. And then we have to let it cool down, right? Because that's, that's hot molten cheese. Uh huh. And it's ready to taste. Mm. Oh my goodness. The view, the air, the company. Thank you. I'm as happy as a cow. Yeah. A Swiss cow. What do you want more? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> About an hour away from Gestadt is the village of Wilderswil, a departure point for a 120-year-old cogwheel train. I'm taking the hour-long journey to an alpine plateau with an epic view. We are rising to an elevation of 6,500 feet, so there's no choice but to sit back and enjoy the views and the company. So how do you all know each other? We're part of a travel, uh, travel group. You are? Okay. Yeah, it's called Exotic Travel Club. That's amazing. Because for so many people, this is a, this is like a bucket list trip. It is. You know, that you plan years in advance for. You never, you get to go once. And you guys just get to come here for the weekend. We do. It's really a great way to meet people. Everyone is always so busy working. But so it's nice to find a group like this where you actually find people with similar interests. And where are you from? I'm Ugandan, but I live in London. Ah, I'm watching it from India, but living in London now. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, same. I'm same from here. India, but living in London. What about you? Why did you want to come to this area of Switzerland, Jungfrau? I mean, I've always heard about, you know, the mountains, the chocolate, and I've always wanted to come. Yeah. It's calling me. This Switzerland is amazing. I'd love to sit here. Give me your best Swiss pronunciation of where we're going, because it took me a while. Shinai Platz. Shinai Platz. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> no. <laughs> the name Schinige Plate is coming from this rock here. Mm -hmm. And you look from Lauterbrunnen up to the mountain and you see the Schinige Platte. It means shining plate. I'm Paul Brunner from Lauterbrunnen and I love to show people the beautiful alpine plants. It's Paul's job to take care of the alpine garden, which opened in 1928. There are over 600 species of plants native to the Swiss Alps on this mountainside sanctuary. And Paul makes sure that the paths, flowers, and people are all happy. These purple flowers are beautiful. Is that, is that thistle? They call it distal, blue distal. We call it man straw. Okay. Yes, because the woman used to put this man straw into the bed of the man when he always was sleeping. <laughs> what Under they do? the blanket. This is how to get men out of bed. That's right, to get them up. <laughs> get out of bed! <laughs> yes, he, he was alive again. Oh, is it because it, when it dries, it's a little hard, right? Yeah, so it's you wouldn't a want to sleep hard, on but that. Not very mean, you see, it's uh, <laughs> not sticking that hard like a distal. So much to see. What about these like tall sort the of sword-like? Tall plants? is the yellow gentian, and they make schnapps out of, ah, of it. Okay. But also medicine. If the stomach has trouble with the fondue, that really helps. That's really help. Okay. But they also say if they have heartache or so, this plant is helping oh. because it's so bitter. So Paul, you have the disposition of someone who gets to work up in the mountains and look at flowers. 
the entire day. You just have that sort of in your soul. It's so many things are happening and every day is different and that's what I like. That's what's amazing about just being here is you have these epic mountains, so you're always looking out, but then this place reminds you to look down. Sometimes we forget to look at the flowers, that's don't we? That's right. <laughs> Sometimes people come from the east uh -huh. and they ask me where are the flower fields? And I go out with them uh, show them the flowers and they said that's not really flowers you have to bend down <laughs> but the mountain flowers usually they stay small and you have to bend down to them and say thank you flower that you are here that cows can eat you that we get cheese out of that that, that flavor is that's the flavor right. of switzerland yes from on top of a mountain to inside a heavenly valley there's just no part of this region that doesn't knock your socks off. Case in point, the beautiful village of Lauterbrunnen. So Faye, I'm looking at the traffic here and I thought this was going to be like a nice leisurely bike ride, but we've got like big buses coming by and there's lots of people. It's only a small section though. Okay. Soon we'll leave the road and go onto the bike slash walking path. Oh, I like that. Faye Manning, who is originally from the UK, lives here in Lauterbrunnen, and she knows that it's a quick ride from this busy stretch of town to pure beauty. So how far back does this trail go? This road probably does another three Ks okay. on um, a little bit of gravel and tarmac, and then it starts to go up. How up? <laughs> a couple of hundred meters, maybe more, before it turns into a walker's trail. Uh, stopping here? Oh, yes. What? And making this the best bike slash walking path in the world, a vending machine selling local meats, cheeses, and snacks. This oh, one says Geiskas, so I'm not mm. sure where that one's from. A modern version of the family farm stand. to cut this a little bit thinner, but uh, oh <laughs> that is so good. Mm. To me, being in Switzerland, you can't believe the beauty. In, in one look, I have neon green pastures. I mean, right up there is a glacier. Yeah. There are waterfalls surrounding us. It's like you see pictures of it and you don't believe it, and then when you're here, you still don't believe, believe it. it. No. It's true. I never take it for granted because every day it looks different. While sitting on a bench eating cheese is my idea of a perfect day in the Jungfrau region, others are here for more of an adrenaline rush. Well, what is that? Is someone jumping off of that? There's a base jumper. Holy mackerel! Wearing pink, which means it could be my friend Lucia. Get out, you know her! No, yeah. I'm Lucy Levis, and I always wanted to fly. Base jumping is jumping of a fixed object. I just jumped about 680 meter tall and I free fall about 15 seconds and I flew with 140 kilometer per hour speed. Oh Woo! my gosh, nice jump. I knew you were jumping today. How cool you landed here. Oh wow, That's, you just have friends that jump out of the sky. Yeah. That's awesome, Samantha, hi. hi. You are awesome. Sam, I cannot Sia. believe that. So how do you get up there? I hiked up there. Are you serious? Yes, I am. So you hike with all that in your backpack? In and the then, backpack, and in then a you stash just bag. Jump off? Yeah, you do, yeah. Kind of, so well, well, how, how do you train for this? I mean, you have to know what you're doing as well. Yeah, we first okay. have to take a little course, have a mentorship, or take like a first jump course. And then when you're like, really know what you're doing, then you can come here and jump. So how long have you been jumping off of cliffs? And does your mother know what you do? She does, she, she does. does. Yeah, but she didn't know for the first two years. Yeah. I was too scared to tell her. <laughs> and then I lied to her. I told her that we have a second parachute and we don't. <laughs> That's awful. I know. <laughs> Few urban centers could match the beauty of the mountains, valleys, and countryside, and yet this one does. Bern is the major city in this region, and it doesn't take long to know what that word means or what the symbol of the city is. 
Bern is the capital of Switzerland and yet has a medieval beauty and an unhurried enjoyment of life few capital cities possess. And there's one woman who has bottled the unique essence of this city as well as the entire region. Yes, these are all my children. These are your children? <laughs> yes. You have a lot of children. Yes. <laughs> you must be a tired mom. <laughs> I'm a happy mom. <laughs> I'm Bridget Witchy and I'm a perfumer here in Bern. Bridget specializes in creating unique, personalized scents blended from dozens of handcrafted essences. What I'm looking for is an aromatic souvenir of my trip to Switzerland. Should I smell the bottle or should I smell it? Like that. Oh, only, okay. Only take a first impression. Mm -hmm. How many would I need to create my own scent? How um, many do you I suggest? think we take um, the flowers. Okay. Maybe this will remind you on the fresh cut it grass. Oh boy, absolutely. And maybe we take a little uh, warmness and kindness from Bern. Oh, yes. <laughs> so did you, you created that just for Bern? Yes. I was thinking of the river, mm -hmm. I was thinking of the rose garden, mm -hmm. I was thinking of the softness of this city. For me, Bern is really a soft. City. It's a small city and it's not a rough city, mm -hmm. yes. You have time here, you have time to talk, you have time to live. I think really people are happy here. So how did you get started creating perfumes? When did you know that you could communicate with scent? After the college I decided to do um, a therapy, uh, like a dance therapy mm -hmm. with um, children who are blind, who are disabled. There I created the scent for the massage. Mm -hmm. So I made a scent for Luisa, I made a scent for Tiziano, I made a scent for Omur. And each time the children come to my therapy, they smelled, just, they didn't see me, just they smelled. Could you tell they were happy? They were very happy and Sometimes when I didn't spray it enough, mm -hmm. they say, oh, where is this uh, Montagsdüftli today? <laughs> <laughs> and that was the scent that they liked. Yes. They liked to smell. Here is your scent, Samantha's burn scent. <laughs> do you like it really? I do, yes. I do. So here is your scent. Thank you so much. What a pleasure. Take care. Bern, like most of Switzerland, operates at a more leisurely pace than other world capitals. But I have an appointment to meet someone, and in this case, I absolutely have to be on time. How long have you had your job? I got this job in 1978. So the, the, the city of Bern has entrusted in you yes. the responsibility yeah. of taking care of one of the icons. I'm Markus Marti. I'm the Zitlockerichter in Bern, which is called the Timekeeper. My job has mainly three duties. The first is to take care that the clock never stands still. The second is to take care that the clock is running uh, more or less accurate. And then I'm responsible for the maintenance of the clock. Wow. wow. Now, are all these the original mechanisms? A lot of them are original from 1530. <gasps> so, now that? it will start the figure play. Now. So that, that rooster comes out every hour, and now what's yes, that? Yes, yes, and that is the wheel work which turns around to the bears. The bears. Yeah, the guard of the city of Bern. And at the same time, the Chester strikes six o'clock. At the same time, Kronos, god of time, mm -hmm. he turns his hourglass here. And at the same time, he opens his mouth like this. 
What is he saying when he opens it, his mouth? He counts. He counts. What number does he get to? Ye yes, he to it, it was six. Six, six o'clock. Okay. Oh, he counts the number of the oh, hours? Yes, it's the number of the hours. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's an interesting experience being in a room where I'm just hearing the ticking yes. of a clock and yeah. I'm literally seeing the movement yeah. of time as well. Yeah. And, and you uh, can stop it. And I can stop it. <laughs> yeah. Can I stop time right now? If you like. Can I stop it? Huh? I'm yeah. going to stop time. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rarely does a city offer something that literally every local takes part in, but that's the gift of the Are River, running right through the city of Bern. My friend Livia Schonenberger knows it very well. Hey, I've been through so many cities that have, that have rivers through them, and I have never, ever seen even one person in one of those rivers. This is a completely unique, one-of-a-kind This is it, yes. Experience And it's here. typical burn. And during the whole day, during lunch break, we just take the chance to hop into the river and to refresh ourselves. So if you time it right, you could actually see people come down with their suits and, and their business wear. Yes, and, and, and for all of a sudden put yeah, it in their, their that's wet the dry bags. bag. Their dry so bags. <laughs> you, you put off your clothes, you yeah. put them in, and then you swim home. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. Now I'm looking at it and, and um, I looked at it from the city and I was like, oh, that looks nice. And now that I'm a little closer to the water, it's fast. Yeah, it's, it is. It's not lazy. Yeah. No, the current is quite strong and you, you have to be aware of that. But this is the nice thing of it because actually you're not swimming, you're just floating. So uh, I'm ready to go in. Do you have a preference of where we yeah, get actually, into the river? Yeah, actually my preference is up there. Oh, so I see. Yes, let's the, go there, the children. check let's it out. Go there. Yeah. <laughs> Seeing all the locals happily floating by, it's easy to forget that the water from the Are River comes from here. This is just liquid snow. <laughs> all right, we're going for a swim in the Are River. <laughs> now a bit closer to me, then we're fine. Perfect now. And now just enjoy. It's, you know, it actually doesn't feel that bad, not feeling my legs. No. <laughs> and if you put your head down yes. under the water, yes. you hear the rolling of the stones on the ground. It's like the whistling of the wind. It's like the rolling of the, the river in the Aare. Oh. And I love this. I'm not ready to put my head under the water. No. <laughs> Floating down the Aare is the perfect balance of relaxed exhilaration. It's a wonderful thing to be with everyone and all feeling the exact same thing. Pure joy. I feel like I'm 15 years old again. People are enjoying to live here. You can see the mountains, you can see the river, you can be in nature and it's calm and peaceful. No one is hurrying through the city like in other countries. It's really, um, Everything is a little bit slower up here because I think when people start to look at the flowers, they slow down. They feel something about nature. Because this is the most beautiful place in the world. It's good for your soul. When we take in the epic beauty of mountains and sky, when in the midst of grandeur we are reminded to notice the little things, when we allow ourselves to slow down time enough to enjoy it. <laughs> that is when we share a love of travel. And that's why the Bern region of Switzerland is a place to love. For more information about this and other episodes, extra scenes, or links to follow me on social media, log on to placestolove.com.